It's day three of the Canyon Shram Zwift Academy from captivating Andalusia in Spain. Our three finalists, Mary, Ioni and Ella, so far have had two days of solid riding and trying to integrate themselves within the team. Yesterday, their technique and pacing was tested as they took turns to lead out team sprinter Alexis Ryan. Let's have a word now with team performance manager Lars Teutenberg about how they're stacking up so far against each other. Lars, this is a competition. There's only one contract up for grabs. So with that in mind, how are our riders, our finest performing? Let's start with Mary. Yeah, she's uh, very strong. You can see it on the climbs. She's always uh, running pretty big gear, super strong, super good endurance. And what about Ioni? Ioni is a little bit faster, um, more in direction sprinter style. And we could see this also on, on the long climb. She struggles there a bit, but she has a good kick and a good flexibility on the bike. Okay, and finally, Ella. Ella is uh, pretty tall, very fit, um, did uh, excellent uh, descending. Um, yeah. And so, with, again, with that in mind, is there one rider that is ahead of the rest with two days done? Yes, so far I would say there's a slight lead for one girl and today we can uh, test uh, it in real conditions on a pretty decent climb. So basically today we have a, a race to the top of a climb, not a time trial, head to head to head of our three riders. There's no arguments about who's going to be the winner. Yes, and, and it's a tough one. This is it, the race to the top of the Camares climb, 6.4 kilometers at 7%, brutally steep at the bottom. Ahead to head to head. So Mary, queen of the mountain, she distanced Ella early on, but fair play to Ella, she closed on the second part of the climb to within about 50 seconds, and a superb ride by Ioni as well, probably a couple of minutes down, but everybody applied themselves, you could just see, they were utterly spent at the top. Lars, what goes up must come down. Mary has won the race at the top of the climb, but now you're going to be looking at their technique on the descent. Yeah. We will have the two sprinters leading out to a reasonable fast downhill without being too crazy. And then uh, we have uh, the three best descenders sitting behind uh, the girls uh, to, yeah, to see what they're doing good, what they're doing wrong, to give them feedback to improve for the next time. Let's see what happens. So Cassia, your assessment of the girls on that very technical descent. Yeah. Well, I was following Mary, so I had a very good view and I could see how she's entering every single corner. Uh, at the beginning she was making minor mistakes, but I could guide her and I would shout something to her, trying to help her improve it. It was harder for me to see other girls, but still I could somehow like look at them. They really fit into the group, so I feel like it's going to be a very hard decision. Thank you very much. Well, some clear differences have now appeared amongst our three finalists. But of course, it's not just about hill climbing. Tomorrow, it's a double Zwift day. Super intense ramp test in the morning and then a Zwift race in the evening. Do not miss it. It's going to be explosive. 